Chances are you won't get through your first day as a print designer without hearing the term die line. Some people might ask you to set up artwork in a die line. Some people might start complaining that the die line they received is wrong. Some people might simply say, I don't know a die line to use. But what are these people talking about? What is a die line? Great news, it's actually really simple. A die line is simply a guide provided by the print manufacturer you are working with who is going to print the product and the package you are working on. The guide is simply used to set up the artwork in the correct position so that way when it is printed and assembled it will look like the mock-up you are working on. Often companies employ an art team specifically just to lay out artwork in die lines. It's that important to get it correctly. A die line might look really confusing when you first look at it, but it's actually really simple to read. Let's take a look. Die lines generally feature two types of lines, one for cut and one for folds. Solid lines are cut lines. Sometimes cut lines are thicker in the file to avoid confusing them with fold lines. Cut lines are exactly what they sound like. This is the line that the product or package shape will be cut out from the sheet of material it was printed on. Dotted lines are fold lines. However, sometimes fold lines are also represented by a thinner solid line or a line of a different color. So be careful not to confuse it with a cut line. This line represents the parts of the die line that will be folded. Some die lines will also have a representation of the bleed and safe areas laid out in the file. But most of the time you will work with die lines that do not show these guides in the file. The bleed is the area that artwork extends past the edges of the die line and allows a little extra artwork to accommodate for any shifting of the printing on the machines. Likewise, the safe is an area that acts as a guide of how close to the edge you can place artwork without running the risk of it getting cut off from the machine shifting. You want to keep important information and graphics within this zone. As a print designer, keep it in the back of your head that often for most die lines, you want to allow an eighth of an inch artwork past your die line edge for bleed and an eighth of an inch within your die line for safe. As some manufacturers might have custom dimensions for these, it's really important to work with the manufacturer to have all that information so you can truly understand the die line you are working with. And that's it. That's a die line. Good luck on your first day and happy designing.